This is Audrey Meadows. She is from Riverside G School District, and she's going to talk about her project, The Premises of Applying Computational Algorithms to Enhance Microbiological Studies Through Simulation of Laplacian and Gaussian Kernels. Uh, go for it, Audrey. Hi, my name is Audrey Meadows, and this project basically focused on creating on coding a computational algorithm, so in the Python language on Spider interface. And it focused on um, synthesizing this algorithm in order to um, help to improve the laboratory safety during microbiological studies. So often in microbiological studies, um, in a laboratory setting, uh, technicians are often uh, exposed to uh, biohazardous materials such as bacteria, and other bo um, bodily substances. So, in order to help to um, in order to help uh, amend this issue, we limit we try to limit the time that technicians are exposed to. So this so this uh, this algorithm essentially takes essentially takes a look at um, it copies the human it copies the ability of the human eye to not only recognize, but to count, to actually count the um, little microorganisms in a sample. So microorganisms such as bacteria or uh, little cell clusters in bacteria. And you can see with um, my presentation, you can see some of the images that I actually selected. So, so in, order to code, in order to code this algorithm, we, I had to use a, um, I used the a, a kernel called the Laplacian negation kernel, and basically, I, in layman's terms, it it takes a Laplace operator. Uh, mathematically, a Laplace operator takes the second derivative of a uh, takes the second derivative of the color's intensity versus its position, and uses that to help to enhance the an image's edges or the boundaries of, uh, of shapes in the, inside the image. So such as little microorganisms, or we call them blobs. Um, so it uses that to help to make it more prominent. And then, uh, and then it, uh, off, before, prior to that, actually, a, ga a Gaussian filter is applied in order to soothe excess noise that could be present in the, that could be present in this image. So a Gaussian filter, um, well, noise noise can refer to excess static or little hinder uh, any object that hinders the image. So, in order to prevent the algorithm from thinking that this is that it is a part of the blobs or the microorganisms in the in the picture, we we apply a Gaussian filter that is used to smooth out the excess noise that could be potentially spurred up during when uh, the Laplace operator is placed. So using those, the main, so using those, that was a major component into the coding this algorithm. Another, another, uh, another significant portion of the, of the algorithm took, worked with the, the implementation of, of the image, of the actual image, and then run, and then actually running the, the, running it to help to identify the to help to identify the microorganisms. So, so a key portion, so a key portion of the project focused on coding, but a significant portion was also focusing in on the micro, on the microbiological studies. So in order to collect the data, in order to collect images, um, I used a, I used a variety of bacterial samples and all, I also used a, I also used, um, cell clusters so they so little samples of uh cell of tissues or skin tissues or red blood cells were implemented into the algorithms and in order to ensure the accuracy of the algorithm i i categorized each sample image into one of four tiers with level one being the easiest and most and most simple or refined of the data, and level four being the most complex, with blurred, where images were often blurred, or microorganisms were less prominent, 
And this is in order to stimulate various various conditions that could be various conditions that could hinder images presentations. So in order to, so in order to ensure the accuracy, I had the algorithm run through level run through level one first um, of the data set, and if it if it returned a a reasonably close number to my own count of microorganisms in the sample, this would be able to this would be able to it would be able to move on to level two. Level two focused on had more complex was a little bit more complex imagery. So it so it could potentially have some it could hinder a little bit more a little bit more than level one did. So and then of course if it passed that level with um where the count where the return count of the algorithm was close enough to mine, I would move on to level three. And then level three image level three images had some had more overlap and more complexity to it in order to, and this is where you start to, you need to start to rely a little bit more on the algorithm than your own count because the degree of population in the, in level three images could, could potentially cause more human error if there's, a, if there's a vast variety of cells or bacteria in the sample. So you can rely a little bit more on the algorithm on the algorithm for this one. And as you can see here in the in my digital display board, uh, you can the image, the quality of the images starts to increase and deteriorate a little bit. And if and judging based upon if it's reasonably the algorithm is reasonably close to uh, my own count, I can move on to level four. And level four is where you want to start if it's where you want to stop using you mainly your own counting skills, you can, but the algorithm after completing all the last, the last three levels is more, it's a lot more reliable than uh, a human technician counting it just due to human error and issues with counting, et cetera, et cetera. And so from there, after it completed these tiers, it can, it would uh, prove to be a viable, a viable source for for counting and for counting and taking the ease off of human of human researchers by by computerizing these such such methods. So a so the, this project was focused was created based upon with the intention of improving laboratory safety and improving laboratory safety and limiting biohazardous exposure to, for technicians in the laboratory setting. And in order, and in order to do such, I, I fabricated this project in order to um, help, help the local technicians in my community that are often exposed to materials that could potentially be dangerous or it could be proved to be a uh, could deteriorate their health, their health. So this algorithm takes that, but it also helps to refine some of the some of the, the ways that my, microbiological studies are conducted in the in the experiment by limiting human error, as we said before, and also helping to speed up the process. So and and further on, since this is a since this is a computational algorithm. It has the ability to evolve into more. So this, so the programming on the on the computational algorithm currently is used to is focusing in on more microbiological studies rather than any other rather than other areas of physical sciences. So if with a simple editing and more implementation of various methods, you are able to you will be able to apply it to different to other fields. And I've, so with a little bit of simple coding, for example, this project, this, uh, this algorithm could be, could be retrained to focus more on, on viral species after, from imagery after, it's, after more magnification or running it under a microscope. They would be, it would be able to look at viral species 
such as the, the current COVID-19 virus and its variants. And it could, so, and it could be used to study, study the organ, study viral species in, in a sample in order to observe their growth rates and their behavioral patterns in, in order to apply that, the findings to a larger medium. So such as uh, a greater, so a greater plane with more p possible hosts that it could, that could carry such virus. So this, fa so the fabrication of the algorithm can be used to, can be more applicable to other, to other scenarios and other species of organisms. So in order to, in order to continue this research, you need, you would need to not only continue coding, but you have to recognize the issues that are presently, that could be presently available to you or presently hindering current life as we know it. So that is my project. <laughs>